Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Last week, I had the opportunity to speak with author Marie Lou. She's actually a New York Times bestselling author, all about her brand new book, Sky Hunter. Let's take a look. Today, we have the honor of number one New York Times bestselling author Marie Lou joining us. She is known for her dark and intense stories with action packed plots. Lou is delivering once again in Sky Hunter, a novel laced with adrenaline and filled with nonstop action where she creates an immersive world broken by a war. Thank you so much, Marie, for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. So tell me a little bit more about Sky Hunter. Sky Hunter is science fiction. It's set about 5,000 years in our future in a regressed society where um, a massive federation has taken over every country in the world except for one tiny country called Mara. And the book follows uh, a girl named Talon, who is a refugee to this country and also one of their elite warriors, one of the few people left who are standing between Mara and this federation. And the story follows her journey. It's about her and her found family that she has with her fellow soldiers. And it's also about this boy named Red, who she finds one day on the war front. And Red is a prisoner of war. He's a soldier who defected from the Federation. And at first, Talon has no idea whether or not she should trust him, um, whether he's an enemy or if uh, he's the weapon that may save them all. So it's very much a hate to love romance between them. And it's about her found family and her crew and about a little bit about the mystery uh, of the world around them. And is it true that parts of this book is inspired by your own experience as an immigrant? They were, yeah. I think bits and pieces of um, into the state uh, has definitely crept into this book. I'm, I've always been interested in thinking about um, everyone's unique experiences in this country, and um, you can't help but write a little bit of yourself into the story. So, you know, I'm not a refugee, but, uh, but I am an immigrant, and so in that way I can relate um, to what Talon goes through when she enters Mara and, you know, is so proud of this country, but also um, has to deal with the uglier side of it. And, um, and I found that relatable in her, and she was very cathartic for me to write. Well, and in terms of relating to this book, the characters, the plot, how do you think readers in 2020 will relate to this book? Yeah, I feel like I'm just writing nonfiction at this point. <laughs> I feel like 2020 has kind of thrown everything at us. Um, but I, I think that my hope is that when readers pick up this book, they find something relatable in the way that it's reflecting on the xenophobia and discrimination that happens in our reality, um, which has happened, you know, before 2016, before 2020. Um, and that they find it relatable, but most of all, that they see that in you know this fictional world there are characters who can take control of the society and take control of what's right and um and do the right thing and win and that they can have happy endings and i hope that readers can then translate that to our reality that they know that we are the ones who are capable of making those changes uh in our world um, that we can do things, that we can vote, you know, that, that we have the ability to change things. So, so I hope that's what people take away from it. And tell me a little bit more about your previous books and how they've influenced Sky Hunter. Yeah, I think all of my books, um, all of my books are science fiction and fantasy, so they all kind of build on one another. Um, Legend was my first trilogy. It came out, um, gosh, almost 10 years ago. And that was written in 2009, and it's about, you know, a, a U.S. that is split in the middle uh, with a wall going up and down between the middle of the country. So um, a lot of my stories are about whatever it was that was bothering me at the time or that I was thinking about um, that I wanted to explore. Um, Warcross, another science fiction series of mine, is about technology and how it can both help um, help us and and unsettle us um, and it's about video games and it's very fun but it's also very grounded in you know the the our current society um, so in that way sky hunter kind of mirrors those series but it's also a separate series of its own and i hope that readers like it um, whether they've read my old books or not well and of course i'd love to hear if you can give us a tease what's next what are you working on 
I'm, I'm always working on a secret project on the side. Um, so right now I've got something that I'm having a blast writing. It's, it's, it's so fun for me. And I hope that that means it's fun for readers. It's much lighter in tone than sky hunter. And, um, and I hope that readers will get the same sense from it. I can't talk too much more about it, but, but I'm excited to tell people more about it later. Well, and where can we get Sky Hunter, and how can we find out more about you and follow you along with everything that you're doing? Uh, Sky Hunter should be available wherever books are sold. Um, uh, definitely online at um, all the indie bookstores, websites. I think most of them have shopping carts that you can order online from, uh, and Amazon. Uh, and uh, as for me, I my site is marielu.com, and I'm also on Twitter at marie underscore lou, and Instagram at marie lou the writer. Well, I am very much looking forward to learning more about Mara and reading Sky Hunter. Marie Lou, thank you so much for joining us here on Park City Television today. Thank you so much for having me.